Education is a power leading forward, the absolute philosophy in the world. Grasping technique, ambitious idea. Be skillful to be ever be. Strength of a country is based on a new generation and the young people. If you want to know the future of Kazakh country, look at Bolshak. An educator never grows bored of teaching a child. When Aizhamal enters a lecture hall, she gets a special feeling. Her thoughts are entirely about the students sitting in rows at their desks. She leads the youth to far horizons of sciences. She tries every time to deliver a new theme to each student, to make it memorable forever. All this happens because Aizhamal gets great pleasure from her job of teaching, and the students look forward to every lesson. In my opinion, the students praise her lessons a lot, and she gets their special attention. In her lessons, various types of materials and educational aids are applied. At the same time, we are learning information about new technologies, including devices in the active computer lab, and also methods of teaching information computer technologies, educational systems, standard models, talented children, and critical thinking. All of these we will need in the future, because among the seven models, we will have got talented, challenged, and disabled children as well. In terms of critical thinking, the potential of a person is very high. Aizhamal Jumabayeva 1975, born in Taraz City. From 1992 to 1997, she studied at Taraz State Haidar Dulati University, Faculty of Philology. From 2009 to 2010, she studied at the Lomonosov Moscow State University by the international program Balashak. Currently, she is a senior lecturer at the Taraz State Pedagogical University. Aizhamal is from a large family. She is the eldest of five children. She stood out for being a brilliant student at school. She was good at all the disciplines of the school curriculum. She especially paid a lot of attention to the Kazakh language and literature. Her father and mother are teachers as well. That is why initially they were against it when their daughter chose a specialty. I can say that I followed in my parents' footsteps because my parents, my father-in-law, and the majority of my relatives are teachers as well. This is the reason that I desired to become a teacher since my young age. I think that my father served as an example for me. So my mother worked as a teacher for 35 years at the Jambol General High School, and my father got a doctor's degree of physical and mathematical sciences and is a professor here at the Pedagogical University. He has been working for 30 years at this university. I should mention in the beginning that my father showed me the peculiarities of teaching profession and helped me to make the correct decision. After finishing school, Aizhamal entered the Taraz University in the Faculty of Philology, which she chose herself. Academic study was not that easy, however. She had some difficult time in the beginning because the Kazakh language's grammar and scientific aspects was very tough, so she had to research a lot. Here, Aizhamal found out that world languages are divided into inflectional and agglutinative groups, and the Kazakh language belongs to the agglutinative group, like the Finno-Ugric and the Turkic languages. Now, Aizhamal is working on delivering this knowledge to her students. We offer students current scientific research themes. We give them themes related to informatization of literature, depending on the students' interests. Our students participate in scientific projects and contests. My students are now researching the connections between the development of the Kazakh language and computational linguistics. That is to say, our sciences are still developing. Yani 
After graduating from university, Ai Jamal got married to a graduate like herself. Today, they are bringing up a boy named Ai Bek. Her husband, Sapar Ghali Karaul Baev, worked as a teacher at the Taraz Mohammed Haidar Dulati State University. Now he is adding to his educational level at the Lomonosov Moscow State University. The beginning of Ai Jamal's career path was an interesting one. First, she worked for a couple of years at the university in Shimkent, and later she moved to the Taraz State Pedagogical University. At that time, the hardworking young woman's dream to increase her level of education came true. She left Taraz to study in the Lomonosov Moscow State University through the International Scholarship Program Balashak. As a result of this Balashak program, I finished writing my monograph on how to apply information technologies in teaching the Kazakh language. The program was rather useful for me. First, I became familiar with the development level of information technologies at the Moscow State University. Secondly, I paid a lot of attention to the way research related to this computational linguistics is done at bigger libraries in Russia. Now, based on this knowledge, I am researching semantic fundamentals to improve electronic translation of the Kazakh and Russian languages. At present time, another teacher who studied abroad by the program Balashak is working at the Taraz State Pedagogical University. Her name is Olga Cherkasova. She is a specialist of the English language. She and Ai Jamal meet often when they have got free time apart from their lessons. They discuss extraordinary ways and methods of teaching students. We share ideas about themes related to the education sphere. She got her education in Russia and I studied in Great Britain. We are so grateful to our country for giving us such a great chance to study abroad by the program Balashak. We have exchanged knowledge and experience while abroad and have brought these changes in our lives to the society of Kazakhstan. Our teachers working at the philology faculty, the language specialists Olga Cherkasova and Ajamal Jumabayeva, have obtained education abroad. According to the tertiary education, they've got experience at the Nazarbayev Intellectual School and Nazarbayev University. Now they are applying this experience by giving lectures, conducting practical research, and doing demonstration lessons for other teachers at the Taraz State Pedagogical University. The name of the program Balashak speaks for itself. The aim of these teachers is to change our life skills to achieve the national strategies for being among the top 30 countries. Nowadays, we see the first results of their work. We can call these teachers the first fruits of the program. Ajamal is getting a lot of benefits from her experience abroad. Her students take first place in various contests and are evidence of Ajamal's contribution to Taraz's scientific sphere. In 2008, my student Gulnur Tastanbekova under my scientific supervision, won first place and the gold medal among 278 other contestants at the Republican contest organized by the foundation of the first president of the Republic of Kazakhstan. It means that apart from my work and interest in my sphere, I attract students' attention and interest to the sphere as well. Last year, one of my students, Altenai Shadikhan, gave a report at the scientific conference in Russia. Moreover, she presented her report in Turkey as well. This girl is researching the problems and solutions of how to transfer the Kazakh language to the Latin alphabet. A scientific approach to education is like sowing a seed. The aim of a farmer is to reap a harvest from these seeds. Therefore, teachers of Taraz keep contributing their knowledge and experience towards the successful development of our country.